Welcome to Stay Curious, where we talk about the latest in QR code trends. Stay Curious, presented by QR Tiger. Welcome to Stay Curious, where we learn about the latest in QR code trends. We're here with QR code expert Benjamin Kleiss, and we're going to talk about QR code fails. And you know how it is with QR codes. They're always very effective when you use them for your marketing campaigns. We're going to go through these images and Ben will have a say on what they could have done better. So our marketers out here won't have to do the same mistakes. So let's go Ben and get started. All right. All right, QR code on a website. Um, yeah. Does that look good to you? So the QR code looks definitely very visible. It's there, that's good. I think uh, there is of course the thing that is next to it, which probably makes that it's related to the QR code. I think the QR code here could have a better call for action. So people actually would understand if they scan it like uh, no more, for example, right? That people scan it, they can actually see, understand more. But for me, the size is big enough. People would actually understand that there is probably a relation between the item that is uh, shown and the QR code. I think that if they have a social media event, it would also help that they post the same QR code if it's really relevant. So more people could access it and right. really um, get to know what the details are on that QR code. All right, next image. QR codes as a font. Yeah, for this campaign. QR code as a font, I think it's very creative. That's the first thing, right? It's actually doing something different with the QR code, trying to make it, uh, you know, that, that it becomes a font, a letter. But in the same time, of course, to scan it with your camera, it's going to be quite a hassle to try to scan all the different QR codes in the font to figure out which QR code does what. So that might be not 100% clear, but I still think it's, you know, the message is clear, scan the QR codes, there will be more, right? That's, I think, the creative message I want to give here. So that, I think, is a good one. Yeah. All right, would you recommend that like some people would do that or? Yeah, I think it's fun. I mean, at least they try to do something different with the QR code and use it as something more. And that I think is always good when the QR code is being used as more than just a QR code. All right, that's good then. Remember that marketers. And let's go to the next one. QR codes on a moving bus. Uh, I see four QR codes. Uh, they all have a clear call for action, so that's good. Uh, on the other hand, of course, you know, it's a moving bus, you're there with your camera your camera might just snatch one QR code and not all of them. So maybe if there was one QR code, it would be better because it's a moving vehicle. On the other hand, people might stand on the bus stop, the bus will stop on the bus stop, people can still choose which QR code they scan. But if the QR codes are close to each other, the camera will still identify one QR code and not the other. So that's sometimes a problem that some QR code scanners have, that they will not know which QR code they need to scan first, right? So that's something that's, that's why I would say, keep a bit distance between your different QR codes so that they actually can be scanned separately right and all i could think of it it would have been better if they just put those qr codes at the back of the bus seats so then people can have like some extra time to like access it when they're free right. while, right. while they're in transit right. another image dense qr code at an underground subway where there's no signal most of the time then so what happens well, I do think most subways have good signal these days, uh, so that's not an issue. I think the QR code is big. There is a good call for action on the QR code, so that's also good. Uh, so this kind of things, I think it's a good one. It's a clear one. Uh, I would say not that it's extremely good designed, but for the rest, it's actually pretty clear, right? And it does what it's going to need to do. So it's also have a good call for action for straight away to the target audience, which is also good uh, if people need a job. So this kind of thing, I think, is not bad. It could be, of course, been done more creative but at least it's clear wrong spelling of a qr code call to action yeah of course if you make a wrong mistake in your in your call for action of course it looks a bit amateuristic on the other hand it takes attention people will look at it will maybe see the mistake when people see a mistake their attention is on the mistake right because people cannot look away from a mistake uh, but at least it's a Clear QR code, it's a big QR code, there is a call for action. Yes, the spelling mistake is yeah, an, an unfortunate thing, but I think for the rest, it looks clear to me. At least it's there, right? I know what to do. And this is also an opportunity if you're a, a government leader or a CEO, you could use a VCAR QR code and put all your details there. Contact right. details, social media, and all that. Next image. 
too many QR codes in one campaign. Yeah, in that's one another campaign. one again. So people put many different QR codes. Uh, and then of course the question is which one I need to scan, right? It's better to keep that cleared for people to have one, maybe two QR codes. But if you put more QR codes, there need to be a good reason for that. If there's no good reason and that's not very clear, then people are confused, right? They don't know where to go first. So that's again a thing where it needs to have a good call for action that people really quickly understand what to do. I see there is some signage around it that tries to make people clear what it's about, but still, it, you still need to guess, right? And if guessing is not the goal of it, then I think it would be better that, to put some words on the written on the QR code so people actually really know what it's about. Yes, for sure. And for the next image, this looks really interesting. A high and spinning QR code. What do you think then? Well, of course, a spinning QR code on a, on, on a banner like, like that, that hangs on the ceiling, comes with a bit of challenge because it's spinning, so it's also moving again. On the other hand, maybe that's also the goal that it moves, that it takes your attention. Uh, on the, I think the QR code is clear, it's in the middle, there's a little call for action of what it's about. Still, you need to look up a thing. The good thing is about QR codes that you can actually scan them from a distance, so that's the good thing. It can be even a few meters away from you. You can still access them and scan them. Maybe they could have done something a little bit more colorful, maybe some more fun with the QR code, but to me, it looks, looks clear, yeah. Maybe they were going after the attention because it's like um, up there, but I think it doesn't work when it's spinning. So right, right, right. Just to get attention. All right, a QR code on a highway. I don't know what this QR code would be about. It's like a huge QR code. There is no call for action. There is nothing contextual around it. It's just a big QR code. Or this is a mystery thing and it wants to attract those few people that would scan it. I have no clue what this is about. Also, this is a very traditional QR code. If it would be a marketing related thing, they could have maybe customized, tailored that QR code a little bit more. So it would have get some more marketing attention. So yeah, no clue what, what is the goal of this. I think yeah, that somebody just wanted to spend some money or lose some money on, on a billboard, yeah. Exactly. And if marketers, for the marketers out there, if you want people to trust the QR code that you're posting, you can add a logo in there and add a compelling call to action. And of course, all the details to your website will be there. So just don't do this one. All right, another image. Movie poster with an image. This one I like because they try to do something creative with the QR code where they actually uh, overlay the image within the QR code. So that actually gives an effect. The only thing that I think that they, and I hope they tested it, is that the QR code of course has some lighter parts, definitely in the eyes, that some cameras might have difficulties to detect it. So that's something you need to test. When you make a QR code, you need to 100% make sure that people can actually uh, still scan it, right? And when you do an image, you, you need to see how, where you need to position that image to have the, the right effect. But I like it. it. Might have a bigger call for action, but it's related to a movie poster. Some people can actually scan it and have a little preview of the movie, which I think is cool as well. Or see something like, you know, something teasing to actually go to see the movie. Why not? I think that's also the thing that most people have when they see a movie poster. What's the movie about? Scan, you see a little preview of the movie and you might be tempted to see that movie, right? Right, it's very intriguing. On to the next one. A digital billboard fail. Yeah, that. that's of course not the smartest thing. QR codes need to be in one image. They cannot be spread over two image. Uh, so yeah, in that way, this QR code will be never be able to scan it. So it actually loses the purpose. Yeah. So that's again something when you bring QR codes on screens, I've seen it many times, make sure that that screen doesn't stretch your image because if the QR code gets stretched, it might also not be able to scan it anymore. So these are things that you always need to check. Where will that QR code be displayed? Will it be on a bus screen? Will it be in a big screen? Uh, will that screen keep the proportions or not? Such kind of things. Or like in this screen, will it break my QR code into pieces over two different angles? Yes, that will not work either, right? So it's kind of things really important to make that work. Yeah. Right, make sure the QR code is in one piece. All right, next image. Okay, this one is a railway QR code and it's pretty far from the platform itself then. What do you think? I think it will still work. It doesn't matter that the QR code has some distance from where you scan. This distance looks to me good enough. Uh, people can scan it. Uh, the QR code might be maybe a little bit bigger, maybe clear call for action, but you know, it's a billboard, you know what it's about. You're interested, you can scan this one QR code, it's very clear as well. There's only one, it's not five QR codes or three or what, two, but just one and the distance will probably work. Most cameras are really good 
to detect QR codes. Some of them even have a zoom function. When they see there's a QR code, it will zoom suddenly to the QR code. I've seen it as well already. So it all depends a little bit of the camera technology behind it. Uh, but QR codes can be scanned from quite a far distance. This is not so far. Yeah, I've seen them being scanned in big presentations and all these kind of things. Of course, the bigger the QR code, the better it can be scanned. Right? That's, that's clear. Yes, but also to me, it takes a lot of effort. So they could have put it on the poster by the pillar of the train platform. But sure, but that might yeah. not always be the option they have. So right. mostly people look in that direction. So that's why they put these advertisements there. Right? All right, thanks, Ben. And all right, for, this is a tourism QR code then. Right, so this is Discover University of Bristol, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's fun that they try to integrate the QR code in within that bridge. Uh, on the other hand, you know, they need to make it sure who is the target audience. Will they, yeah, these are students probably for a university. Will they still see there is a QR code? Mm -hmm. is, doesn't that need to be more clear in some way? So that's also something I see many times. People try to integrate QR codes in designs, but then suddenly you don't see it anymore that it's a QR right. code. And this is all about what it's all about. When there's a QR code, people see to recognize it's a QR code. When they recognize it's a QR code, that's when they scan a QR code, right? If you don't recognize it, you will just pass by and think it's part of the graphic, right? So that's really important. Don't overdo it. Yeah, that's my mes uh, my message here. That's right. It looks, it looks like it's overdone, and also like people with astigmatism or nearsightedness will be able to see the QR code embedded in. It. All right. So next one. QR code that's on the wrong side of the highway or just basically on the freeway. So what do you think about that then? Well, sure, QR codes on, on highways can work, but of course it can only be scanned not by the driver, but by the people if it's on a highway that sit in the car. So that's the first thing. Uh, but you know, they made that QR code at least big enough. So it's actually clear there is a QR code. Uh, and if that billboard might repeat a few times on the highway, then people probably might, you know, if they're interested, scan and, and, and get, get to more. Highways are still places of high traffic where a lot of people pass by. So they made a clear thing of, you know, this is the advertising, this is the branding we want to do. But hey, look, there is a QR code. You can enter this ad and get to the next thing. And that I think is also important. I always believe a QR, when there is an advertisement, when there is a QR code, you give a digital dimension to your ad. You actually know how many people scan it. Those rates might be low. But that doesn't matter, at least you are capturing some people's attention. Because if you don't have a QR code, you don't even know if people are actually watching it at all, right? A QR code gives you a way to track your ads in somehow. Right? right, as long as it's a dynamic QR code and your account is active, you can totally track the scan data behind all your QR code com campaigns. Right. Right, and so Ben, thank you so much for giving us your insights. With all these failed QR codes, but to you, they're not all of them are failed. All right, so marketers, you know what to do so you don't commit these mistakes anymore. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below and we'll get to it on the next episode. This has been Crystal and Ben, and this is Stay Curious. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.